Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new. This is Breathe and Budget and my name is Taryn. On this channel, we discuss the zero base budget method, cash envelopes, as well as fun sinking challenges that help us meet our financial goals. And if that is of interest to you, I would love it if you would join our community here and hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and let's do our weekly check-in. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is, this is my wallet. Um, currently I'm in a A6 size. Um, it is a Mo term. These always slide out. I'm sure I'm not the only one that happens to where the cards just slide out or whatever, but that's all right. So this is the blush Mo term. I'm gonna take my receipts out, put those to the side. I do scan my receipts into Fetch Rewards and Receipt Hog. Um, I use Fetch Rewards more often than Receipt Hog because I tend to forget, but both of them, basically you're earning points and then you can redeem those points for either cash back or gift cards, right? Um, so I think those are very cool ways of just earning a little bit of extra just for your average everyday spending that you would do anyways, okay? Um, I wanted to show this. I got this when I got my tattoo. So when I got my Breathe tattoo, I got this sticker and I think it is, um, it's awesome. I love it. So I do keep that there in my wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from my wallet and put it back into our essentials binder so that we can do a check of what I have left leaving week one and heading into week two. Okay. So I started with a hundred. I have not spent any. So I have a hundred left in my personal spending. It's only been like the first week, so that's good. Um, my husband's spending, we're not touching. Um, don't have date night there. So dining out. And if you're asking like, why am I taking it out of my wallet and putting it here? Basically what I'm doing is I'm doing my weekly check-in. So I remove everything from my wallet, put it into my essentials binder. That way I know where I'm at. Then I do my cash stuffing for week two. Once I cash stuff for week two, then I set my wallet up for the week. So then it's ready to go for the rest of the week. And I also tend to set like reset it based on what I know I have coming up. Okay. So dining out, we have 70. We did start with a hundred. So we did spend a little in this first week, which is to be expected. All right, kids, we started with 100. I don't think I've spent anything, but let's see. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we still have the 100. Okay. Um, I do have it out of order. Household. Okay. So I know we started with 100, but I know that I did have to purchase trash bags as well as toilet paper. So we have 20, 30, 40, 55, 56 left. Um, so that was expected. I'm hoping I still have some left over to roll over because um, that has been the goal is to try to roll over toiletries and household to like get a nice little cushion going there. So we'll see. Okay, for toiletries, we started with 100. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, yeah, oh my goodness, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we haven't had to make any purchases with that thus far. I have my little coupon in here, which I need to check um, to see if it's even still good. I'll put that to the side and double check. I like to just throw that into the actual envelope just for when I'm there, if you know it winds up being something I can utilize, I will. So we started with, oh, I think we had rollover. I think we started with 160. 
I will look and if um, if I'm wrong, I will pop up the right amount. But I want to say we started with 116. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 30, 40, 51, 151. That sounds right because I did purchase um, faux rawhide bones for the dogs because we don't do real rawhide. Um, and then that should be it. Okay. So that is going to empty out my wallet and allow me to reset that for the week after I do my cash stuffing. So basically, we're doing pretty good. Um, the most we spent was from household and um, dining out, but that's okay. But so far, we're on track, um, and I'm going to then do my cash stuffing, so I will film that next. I'm not going to do both just because I feel like that would make this an even longer video and I don't want to do that. Um, I did create myself like a little dashboard, but I have to remake it. Um, I didn't get the sizing correct and my old laminator just kind of made this part on the side feel a little bit weird. But I thought it would be kind of cool to just have this in here to remind me like these are the monthly um, amounts that we're going to cash stuff. I already like pretty much have those memorized. Um, not necessarily like not necessarily monthly because like nails gets more than sixty five. But when I do stuff it each time, it'll probably be sixty five. Um, I stuff these only once a month, and I stuff the whole hundred. Miscellaneous, I haven't decided, but I think for this month I just did twenty, and then we'll see what I want to do with that. We've only had to consider pulling from like a miscellaneous envelope like once. Um, in like the last six months so I'm not really sure like how I feel about it just yet but um, we're doing pretty good I I think you know for just the first week um, of you know going into October which I generally can go a little crazy in this month with like decor and stuff so I'm I'm pretty proud so that's it for today's check-in and kind of an explanation as to why I empty my wallet, put it into the essentials binder. I just like to give my wallet a reset each week um, and I like to put in each category what I know I may need if I'm prepping for a certain event or I know I'm going to be gone from the house when typically I wouldn't be, then maybe I'd put more into like kids, dining out or my personal spending. And I have a couple days like that this month where I might have to do that. So that's the reason behind. I've had a couple, pe couple people ask, so I figured it would be good to give that explanation. So, all right, guys, until next time, be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.